Hi, David Gerard here. I'm in Southeast Oklahoma at Red Slough Wildlife Management Area. I'm going to visit with David Arbor as he does his weekly bird camp. Okay, and uh, they'll be coming, most of them be coming right by us here, coming from there and going this way. So they just go to the fields? Is that what they go to Yeah, feed? and there's a lot of them that go out the back side that way, and a lot of them go southwest too, and a few that go that way. No way I'm getting them all. But. <laughs> okay, there goes the first one, great egret, large size. Oh, okay, that's it. I'm starting now, I'm putting my start time. You usually have somebody help you, or? No, I'm usually doing it by myself. How many years have you done this? Over 20 now. And you do it? I've worked here at Red Slough for 20 years. And that was, what was that, as long as it's been established? When did it really get started? Somewhere around the mid-1990s. Around 1996 that the Forest Service obtained, started obtaining portions of it. And before it had been farmland? It had been a farm, yeah. But before, prior to that it had been a wetlands and it was restored. It was Oklahoma's only rice farm. Oh. How many different species have you seen down here? Have you kept track of that? or? It's around 325 or something like that, give or take a few. The rookery, what's mainly in the rookery? Technically it's a heronry. Heronry. A rookery is... Uh, for rooks. It's for rooks, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people call them rookeries. But. Where's them well, herons and egrets are actually in the same genus, most of them. And, uh, so the white ones are called egrets, but they're really all just herons. So this is a heronry, but it also gets used by cormorants, neotropic cormorants, and, and ingas, and ibis, white ibis. So and night herons are in there too, black crowns. After you do your survey, okay, you put together a, a, a list of the birds and what you've seen, where does that go? Uh, I, I turn in a list to the U.S. Forest Service. I'm under contract with them to survey four times a month down here. And also post it to the Oklahoma Bird List Serve so the bird watchers can keep track of what I'm seeing down here. And how many birds do you think congregate here at the height of the heronry? I've had estimates of maybe 35,000 birds. And it's mainly yes. cattle egrets. Yeah, um, cattle egrets are a good 80-85% of this number. Do people come down here wanting you to show them around? Oh yeah, okay. <laughs> a lot of people come down for tours, want to see the place. Uh, if I find something rare, they come running down to see the rare bird. And, uh, and, and I guess what's the, and we talked about a little bit earlier, what's the, the most unusual bird you've seen here? Well, about a month ago, uh, I found a limpkin here, which is typically a Florida bird, also occurs in Mexico, South or South America. And that's that's right up there with, with the, for the top two or three most unusual birds, probably. Uh, it's a, it was a first state record. Uh, years ago, I also had a least grebe, which was a first state record. Does the Red Slough ever have like a festival? Or? Red Slough Birding Convention. Every spring, it's usually the first week of May. It's in Ida Bell, and we have tours down here at Red Slough, and we also go to other places like the Kirk County Wilderness Area and the Little River National Wildlife Refuge. But they didn't hold them this year. Because of the uh, right. coronavirus. Hopefully we'll be able to have it next year. Yeah, it'd be nice. 